Hi, this is Anthony, and in this tutorial, I will walk you through the new user interface of Explainedio Video Creator EVC 2.0 Pro. To learn more about the new features in EVC 2.0 Pro, you can check this video of mine on my YouTube channel. Essentially, with Explainedio Video Creator, you can create video animation like you see on the screen right now. You can create a whiteboard sketch animation, as this example on the screen right now and sort of tell a story using um, you know sketch as well as uh, graphics and images as well as you can create um, um, you know some background videos as well you can customize various ele elements and uh, create HD quality video with pre-made animated templates similar to the one that you see on the screen right now so one of the first things you'll notice is that the new user interface is gray in color compared to the pinkish one or the interface in 1.0. So when you add a slide, um, you will notice these three buttons right here. This is an EVC 1.0, but uh, in EVC 2.0, you will see that you just have these two buttons here. And if you click on this uh, create new scene button, it'll basically open up this canvas and down below you will see a lot more options compared to 1.0 you will notice this um, add video button right here as well as add animation slash slide and add sketch image so all these buttons are sort of uh, um, similar to EVC 1.0 but um, you won't see this uh, add animation slash slide or add video in the earlier um, version. You'll also notice this uh, paper button here which allows you to add background images uh, to the canvas. Another change is um, the tabs um, that you see right here in EVC 1.0. This is 1.0 and um, this is what it looks like in EVC 2.0 Pro. To get to the text, image, video, and other tabs, you would have to go to the slide tab and then click on this customize this animation button. It'll then take you to the um, text, um, image, video, animation, and outline tabs. You can then click this close button to go back to the original tabs. Another new tab you'll notice is this uh, SWF tab in which um, uh, you know you can control uh, various frames of the slides. Now in EVC 2.0 Pro uh, you can now import um, TTF fonts as you can see in the section right below. Now if you open this um, canvas and um, you can use the mouse roller to zoom in and zoom out of the canvas and you will notice these little buttons right here um, this button right here is a new one which is add animation and that is another cool feature that um, EVC 2.0 Pro has you can animate slides and various elements you will also notice um, these two buttons here scale full screen and scale um, full screen proportional. I'll create separate tutorials on how to use these two options and features but let me just quickly show you some of the few things that you can do. So first let me start off showing you the canvas zooming in and out feature and I'm just going to basically use the mouse roller so as you can see if I roll the mouse it will zoom out and then zoom in and it basically does this both for the slide and for the canvas as you can see I can move the slide out and you'll see that when I zoom in they both zoom in and out now the other the other thing here like I mentioned earlier is this scale full screen and scale full screen proportional and uh, what it basically does it is allows you for example if I reduce the size of this slide and I say full screen 
a full screen proportional as you can see it, it takes it to full screen now the dimensions of the canvas are uh, 1280 by 720 and so this slide is exactly 1280 by 720 the difference between these two you will not really notice them in here like for example if I reduce the size and then say full screen and if I reduce the size and say full screen proportional it pretty much does the same thing that's because both um, uh, the canvas and the slide are both are the same dimensions but if you notice this slide here, this is a picture and currently as you can see it is uh, exactly that size but the original size of this image or picture is not uh, 1280 by 720 so if you you will see the difference here if I do a full screen proportional as you can see it brings it to its original state this is the actual size of the picture so that's the difference full screen will make it actually will stretch it and it looks a little skewed up as you can see the image and full screen proportional will bring it back to its normal state so that's what um, these two buttons are for the other good thing is I've got some text right here let me just put this to full screen first and I've got some text right here and as you can see I enter that text in this text box but you'll also notice that you can now enter multiple lines of text in this text box as opposed to just one line of text you can still add um, multiple text boxes like you could previously but um, now you can actually have multiple lines of text in a text box and um, right up top here you can see the royalty free footage icon this is basically an optional paid module and um, you can purchase it separately essentially what it does is it allows you to use Creative Commons YouTube videos and uh, just modify them because um, as per the Creative Commons uh, license you you allow to modify them with EVC 2.0 Pro you won't see ads like you see in EVC 1.0 um, also bear in mind that um, you will now require that your videos in EVC 2.0 Pro our mp4 format um, at 24 fps or frames per second if not you'll get this error um, basically inform you, informing you that the format of the video format is not correct and um, you can check my video tutorial um, on how to convert your video files uh, for free in mp4 format at 24 frames per second I've got several other um, explained your video tutorials on my YouTube channel so you know feel free to check them and um, if you've got any um, you know questions you can feel free to let me know but uh, you know those are pretty much the major changes that you will see or notice in EVC 2.0 Pro uh, given that this is a new upgrade uh, you know you can expect to see more updates in the future and um, like I said, if you've got any questions or you want to leave any comments or feedback, please feel free to do that in the comment section. And thanks for watching.